Ashley Rowley. I'm the Education Manager at the American Museum of Ceramic Art. Welcome to my kitchen. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, I've heard from a lot of you guys who are struggling to find materials to make things at home with. So we're here in my kitchen and we're going to make some air dry clay today. First, you might notice that I have a guest with me today. This is my son, Bowden. Hi. Hi. How old are you, Bowden? Four. Four. So my four-year-old Bowden can help me do this. You can do this with your own kids at home. So some of the ingredients that we're going to need today, we're going to go ahead and need two cups of cornstarch. You can use any cornstarch found at your grocery store. And one cup of washable spooled glue. Make sure that it's washable. That way if it gets anywhere, it can come out of whatever it gets into. Um, so we're going to go ahead today. Bowden's going to help me. We're going to start out. I'm going to go ahead and put in the two cups of cornstarch. Let's count those together. Ready? One. One. And then two. So we've got our two cups of, uh, heaping cups of cornstarch in there. And then Bowden's going to help me by pouring in some of this glue while I mix. Do it all by okay, you do it all by yourself. I'm going to mix while he does that. Basically what we're looking for is we want this to kind of clump together to form a really kind of sticky substance. Um, when we're done, if it still feels sticky, you may want to add just a little bit of cornstarch and that'll help it to kind of really firm up into that glue that we're looking for, to that uh, clay texture that we're looking for. We're going to mix it up and if you notice that uh, your uh, clay is looking kind of a little bit either dry, ours is looking a little bit dry here today, so you might end up having to add a little bit of glue. Um, a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more glue. So if you notice that your cornstarch is looking a little bit dry, you might want to go in with your fingers and kind of start squishing it together to see if it stays. Bowden can help me with this part. That's real funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of squishy. you've mixed for a while, you should get clay that's kind of a harder consistency. So when you pull it apart, you'll notice it starts to stretch and then it will rip just like regular clay would do. It will feel a little bit different to regular clay and that is to be expected. Uh, you're using different types of material instead of using sort of dirt or granular material. Uh, you're going to be using cooking equipment. That's normal, that's okay. You just want to make sure that your clay is firm enough that it'll hold its shape once your child has shaped it into something. So now I've given Bowden uh, his clay here. He's going to work with it, make a project. And when we're ready to let it dry, we're going to go ahead and leave it for 24 hours. That makes sure that the clay has enough time to firm up and really kind of stay uh, in that shape that your child's made. If you want to do any further decoration, you can go ahead and paint it with acrylic paint, and that'll make sure that it's sealed and it'll stay in its final form. We hope that you guys had fun today. We're glad that you were here to join us in making this air dry clay project. And I'm so excited to see some of the creative ideas that you guys make at home. Go ahead and tag us in any of those projects. I really would love to see the finished product. All right, Bowden, we're going to go ahead and say bye now, okay? Okay. Thanks for joining us today, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. You see bye? Bye. Bye. Nice.